I grew up on a small scale shire breeding uh, operation as well as we raised our own uh, pasture raised meat. Uh, so we had several hundred animals and our nearest veterinarian was at least 45 minutes away. So whenever we had an emergency, it was very difficult for me to stand there and wait and I didn't know how to help them. That's really why I want to be a vet. I also just learned that I received one of the Army scholarships. I'll be doing that for a few years after vet school. I have always wanted to be um, a part of the Army and to serve my country. This was sort of a leap because it's really hard to get the scholarship. What most veterinarians do is they work on the bases. They work with the service dogs and some horses, but most of the time they're just doing pets of army family, so it's just like a small animal practice, and then you're required to do some food safety checks, but they always stress that you're an officer first and a vet second, but I really like leadership opportunities, so I'm just excited to be able to do that. Ideally, um, eventually I would like to become mostly a sport horse medicine vet. Since I will be a certified farrier, I'm really interested in podiatry and holistic medicine in the sense of sport horse medicine since when you go to really high level shows you're not allowed to give a lot of drugs so um, it's really interesting to me to see how effective some of those holistic points of view can really help out those animals but I also have a really strong background in community service so I'd like to continue participating in those programs uh, when I can I feel that that's really important so all over the place <laughs> basically